Tyler here with GP Knives, and today we have the Rick Hinder designed Kershaw Agile. This is a speed safe assist stainless steel frame lock flipper. We've got a modified sheep's foot style blade with a mid height hollow grind made from 8CR13 MOV. This knife is going to have excellent resistance to corrosion, ease of sharpening, and will take a very fine edge. The hollow ground edge provides exceptional slicing performance and a long swedge on the back is going to give a finer tip for piercing tasks and detail oriented work. The blade can be deployed either via the index flipper or the dual thumb studs. We've got a stainless steel front scale with hinderer style texturing in black. We've got a partial open back construction with a hinderer style modular backspacer system that we're going to touch on a little bit more later. Stainless steel frame lock construction and a stainless steel hinderer style pocket clip with three position carry option. So that is tip down left or right or tip up right hand only. Here you can see the agile in my pocket set up from the factory in the tip up right hand configuration. It does put a small amount of the knife above the line of the pocket, but thanks to the hinderer style clip, it is still fairly discreet. The knife draws easily from the pocket and deploys quickly and readily for use. And thanks to the overall compact design, accessing other items in the pocket while carrying the knife is very easy. Deployment on this is very snappy thanks to that speed safe assist, as you can see. And you can deploy it both with that flipper or with the thumb studs. Lockup on this is going to be solid and smooth thanks to the stainless steel construction. While that does make the knife heavier overall thanks to its small size, it's still fairly lightweight for ease of carry. And quickly we're going to compare this knife to a couple of others. We've got the Kershaw Dividend. That's another Warncliffe or modified sheep's foot style blade. So you can see some similarities in the design here. The Agile though is going to be much more robust with a thicker blade at the tip and thicker blade stock overall. It is going to be thicker also in the handle construction and that is going to be in part to the frame lock construction of the knife. Handles are going to be a little bit shorter and of course the blade and overall dimensions are a little shorter on the Agile. And for a more similar comparison, we've got the AM3 from Kershaw as well. So you can see while these knives are both fairly different in their design, the overall size is going to be fairly similar. You can see here just a little bit shorter on the Agile in the blade as well as in the handle. Now this knife does have a fairly short construction overall and you can get a nice four finger grip on here, but it is somewhat tight. But thanks to the design of the blade, there's a nice scoop on the spine allowing you to put a lot of thumb leverage for power cuts or you can flip the grip on here and utilize the index finger for more powerful and controlled cuts. One of the highlights of this knife is the modular backspacer system. You've got a glass filled nylon lanyard hole and this can be easily removed with the included Allen key. So all you do is just back this set screw out and simply slide the backspacer out. And then we've got two other alternative backspacers. We've got an aluminum bottle opener attachment here. And then we have a stainless steel insert that has double duty as a lanyard hole as well as a flathead screwdriver. Now it does only come with the single set screw so you will have to remove that from the glass filled nylon backspacer to install the other two. But installation and removal of the backspacers is quite simple as you can see. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and the Rick Hinderer designed Kershaw Agile with modular backspacer system. You can check it out now at gpknives.com. Thanks for watching and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. Like the video below 
and click the icon at the bottom right hand corner to subscribe to our YouTube channel feed for updates on all new videos.